strengthening and headed for Belize. I'm Mike Naso from IPR's YouTube video update page with the latest on Hurricane Earl, a strengthening hurricane in the Western Caribbean Sea. We're going to take a look at the entire Atlantic right now, and as you can see, the uh, main story is Hurricane Earl. It's clearly a much better defined tropical cyclone than even earlier. You can see it's become a rather large cyclone taking up a lot of the Western Caribbean, and right in there is the center of circulation, a hurricane headed for the Belize coastline just south of the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico, and it is intensifying. Now, the information I'm about to show you is uh, a little outdated, so I'm going to read to you the uh, update that they had on the hurricane. So here's the information on the map as of 5 p.m., but we did have an update from the National Hurricane Center. Uh, hurricane Earl is at 17.1 north, 86.0 west. Winds are up to 75 miles per hour uh, with higher gusts. It is moving uh, west at 14 miles per hour, so not a lot of change in that. The pressure down to 988 millibars, uh, which is a couple millibars lower than they initially had at that advisory. We have the Air Force flying out there giving us updates. We'll likely continue to see intensification until landfall, very similar to Hurricane Ernesto back in 2012. In fact, uh, it was the fifth named storm. It was uh, early August, uh, around this time, and it became a 100 mile per hour Category 2 upon landfall. It was further north than Earl is, but nonetheless strengthening. Uh, we do have the hurricane warning in effect from Porto, Porto Costa Maya, Mexico, south to the Belize-Guatemala border, including Bay Islands in Honduras. And as you know, with a hurricane, especially one that's getting larger, hurricane force winds extend outward from the center. So this whole region here is our concern with the initial hurricane impacts. A lot of heavy rainfall, especially since Earl has become a uh, larger hurricane than it was uh, before it was kind of just a smaller sized tropical cyclone. A larger storm definitely is bringing bigger impacts. Now uh, let's take a look at the visible satellite image of Earl and you can see as the sun goes down a very well organized tropical cyclone. You can see the coiling of the uh, clouds around the uh, center of circulation there looking like an eyes trying to pop out. Might not have time but as these systems strengthen into landfall the winds tend to be a little more intense than they would had it actually uh, been weakening upon landfall or had it been in a steady state of decline. There's another look at it on the infrared, and you can see right at the end there, we are getting some hints of an eye trying to form on the infrared satellite imagery right in there, and that is where the center is, making that fast approach on Belize. They had a pretty good rain squall move through a couple of hours ago, and again, remember, all of this heavy rainfall firing up here as the sun goes down is not going to bode well. Torrential rains, mudslides, flooding, all possible. Those of you who are old enough to remember, I'm one of them, Hurricane Mitch in 1998 buried itself down in Central America, and even though the landfall was not a Category 5, thank God, it was a Category 1, that didn't matter when it came to heavy rainfall. You could have a very weak system uh, produce a lot of heavy and torrential rainfall. But again, a pretty good-looking hurricane now moving on into Belize, and we'll see uh, how things progress from there. Here's the radar out of Belize, and you can see, again, we're looking at a uh, strengthening hurricane, the eye coming into radar range there, and you can see some of the little keys off of Belize City are in range of the eye wall. Looks a little bit stronger there on the northern side than the southern side, but it's starting to get a little bit well organized as it moves into radar range. Clearly, there's the eye of the hurricane on a rendezvous with the Belize coastline. So again, if you live in Belize, if you uh, live in the Yucatan Peninsula, be prepared for continued heavy rain squalls. You can see these bands are coming in at a pretty good clip. So we'll continue to see impacts with the waves, the storm surge, especially to the north of the center San Pedro here is this little bit of land and uh, got hit very hard, by the way, back uh, in 2000 by Hurricane Keith. I know to some of you younger people watching the updates, you might not remember that. That was a Category 4 offshore. That was only a 1 coming onshore, but the winds pounded the Belize coastline for a long, long time. We're not going to have a situation like that with uh, Earl, as Earl will move in and then move across 
into the Bay of Campeche, potentially organizing a bit as a tropical storm before pushing into Mexico uh, and being out of our way. Speaking of Mexico, I did want to uh, note that we do have some systems in the Eastern Pacific to talk about. We have uh, Howard and Ivette. Howard is uh, pretty much a remnant now moving out far into the Pacific. This is Ivette. It's a moderate tropical storm getting a little bit better organized, nothing impressive. It is expected to become a hurricane, however. But again, our main focus right now will continue to be on Earl because as you can see on the upper level environment, this is clearly a uh, much more organized tropical cyclone than we've seen as uh, it does have a little bit of wind shear to contend with, but not that much. So continued strengthening the landfall for Earl and we're gonna continue to watch it here as uh, hurricane season 2016 just gets ramping up. We're on our way towards the six named storm. Will it, where will it form? How strong will it get? Has yet to be seen. I'm Mike Naso. I'll see you next time.